Hey guys, so a bunch of our Lodi fam who live locally here in the greater Seattle area have been recommending to us that we come to this um, restaurant called Phil Cuisine. And so that is where we went today and we've got a whole bunch of food here. I will show you. And a bunch of you guys have been recommending it to us, so we finally come. And this is Seasig, which I'm very excited to try. And then here we have some Beagle Express, which I've had before, but I've never gotten it from a restaurant before, so I've only ever had Mark's. So I'm kind of excited to try that too. We also got some kare kare, which is still, most of it's still in the the bin because um, both the Beagle Express and the kare kare are both kind of overflowing in the containers. So we're gonna take turns opening them. <laughs> But this is the peanut sauce that comes with the kare kare in it. Uh, and I love peanut sauce so much, so I'm excited for that. And of course, a large order of rice that it comes with. <laughs> Babe, is this also for the kare kare? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's a shrimp paste. Oh, right. Okay. I've only ever had it one time before, and it was a while ago, but I do remember I loved it. But first, let's try the sea sea, you guys. I, I love when they come with like that dribbly egg on top. Oh, so good. I'm going to mix it in a little bit. Okay. Let's get a piece of egg. Mm, that looks good. I'm trying to not get too much egg. Okay. Alright. Mmm. That's really tasty. It's probably one of the better sea seeks I've had, I think. Mmm. Oh, that's really good. And there doesn't seem to be like a ton of, oh, I guess it's all at the bottom. This kind of sea sig is a little bit different. Like it has a bunch of sauce at the bottom, but it's like not super creamy like what I'm used to having. But it's different, but it's really tasty. Like it's one of the really tastier kind of sea sigs that I've had. It's very, very savory. So yeah, not so creamy, but I do like the egg with it and I do like just the way that they made it's different than the other ones I've had before, but overall, I think the taste is really good. There's tons of flavor. And it's really, really good. So this is a really good seasick, I think. Mm. Yeah, definitely gonna be digging into that again later for sure. Next. The Beagle Express. So, never had this at a restaurant. I've only ever had Mark's. So, we're gonna see how I like it. But it is one that I really do like. Let's try it. Mm. Mm hmm. Tastes different than Mark's, but it is, it's got a little bit of spicy. You can taste that coconutty. Mm. Yeah, it's really good. And by the way, you eat it with rice, babe. Oh, yeah. <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, obviously, you guys. I don't know why I didn't think of that sooner. I mean, yeah, stuff that's like really saucy like this. Of course, one should be eating it with rice. 
<laughs> All right. Mm. Yeah, perfect with the rice. Yeah, this is really good. So far, two for two. Both of the things are really good. I like them both. Mmm. Yeah, we can definitely taste these peppers. Mm. And I think this is like a bunch of ginger on top. Some garlic. And taste the meat. Mm. Yeah. So that was actually also very good. So next I'm going to get out the kare kare, but first I got to cover up this Beagle Express. So here is the kare kare. And as I said, I've only, yeah, see how it's like fallen out? Yeah, as I said, um, I've only had this like one other time, but it was really delicious. So I had to have it again, of course. And in case any of you guys are wondering why we're in a car right now, Usually we film either inside the restaurant or outside, but it's super windy and also it's pretty crowded in there, which is a good sign. If you see a restaurant's crowded, you know, the food might be pretty good. So anyways, that is what we're doing in here. First, I just want to get a taste of the sauce first. Mm. That is delicious. I like that they give you some greens. Is this eggplant, Mark? Yeah. Oh, okay. So, I assume the proper way to eat this is with rice. Yeah. And, um... But usually when you eat it with rice, babe, this is basically your ulam, so your rice topping. Ah, and, okay. Um, but we don't have a plate. Yeah. That's why, guys, that's why yeah. Abby's eating it this way. Yeah. Right, okay, yeah. so yeah, you would dish the rice and then put this on top of the rice. Yeah. Yeah. That makes, uh, you know, a lot of sense. <laughs> And same with the Beagle Express, right? Mm -hmm. Everything. Yeah. I mean, I eat things like that too, but it's a little difficult when you're just kind of eating it out of a takeout box. And in a car. Yeah. But this peanut sauce is really delicious. I gotta try some of the meat because I remember it was that was like the best part before. Well, okay. First though, I want to try some of this eggplant. Some of this greenery. Let's see what I think about it. Mm. Not bad. Green leafy stuff is sometimes very hit or miss with me, but this tastes really good. I'll try the uh, eggplant. Pretty good. I'm not always the biggest fan of e eggplant either, but sometimes it can be really good. So I think it's good in this dish too. They did a good job with it. Cooked it well. Ooh, here's some piece of meat. I'll probably just have to pick it up with my hands and bite it because, yeah, there's not really any other way <laughs> right now. Kind of hot, but. Yeah, let's see. Yeah. And have you tried it with the shrimp paste already, babe? Oh, no, not yet. Hold on, I'll take a bite first. And then it's I'll usually the kare kare is bland. Before, before. I did use the shrimp paste a little bit. Mm. Mm. Yeah, super tender. So good. Does it just fall off the bone? Oh yeah. It's super tasty. Very tender, very much just comes right off. Sorry, can't really see that. But it's just, yeah, just falls right apart. So, let me... Mm. Oh yeah, that is very tasty. I love when meat is just so tender and just comes right off. And this beef just tastes really good. Okay, but now, as Mark has told me, I need some of the shrimp paste. So Mark, educate me, because it's been a while. Because <laughs> again, I've only had this once, and it was a it was a while ago. It was months yeah. ago. So. So you just basically, because um, usually kare kare is bland. So is it bland or is I it mean, a little bit I, salty? Does it I have think, a flavor on it? I think it's pretty flavorable because of yeah. like the peanut sauce. Yeah, but usually it's bland. So okay. this is your um, flavoring uh, basically. Gotcha. So you so, just put in like a little bit, right? Yeah. Okay. So. 
so you do how how you want to do it like you portion it um because sometimes it can be salty so but it doesn't just, have to be i'll just put in like that and then i'm gonna try and take my fork and put in a little bit on there okay so i'm gonna just take a little bit okay now that's too little bit too little are you yeah. sure though because in the past i feel like i always like okay. to have less than you <laughs> Well, this, this is a different shrimp paste, babe. It's specialized that's for true. this dish. Okay, that's true. Plus, it's a different restaurant than yeah. last time, so I guess that's true. What do you think? Pretty good, but I, in general, I'm not usually the biggest fan of shrimp paste. This one's okay. actually not bad, though. Really? This one, I don't mind. Yeah, I don't know. The store-bought ones are usually like, I really don't like it. Well, because the store... In. Because the store bought ones, you just have to process it first okay. before it can be good for kare kare. But I just, I just mean, unless it's like really mixed into something, like really mixed into the dish, not just you put it on top. Yeah. That's okay. But if you just put it on top, then I don't usually like it. <laughs> the flavor is too, I don't know. It's too strong. Too, it's too much. <laughs> but if you mix it into something, then it can complement it. You know. So I don't know, I kind of like it without, but also if I maybe put a little bit less, then it might also also be good. They do a pretty decent job with the greens though. Yes. I usually, oh, let's try a green bean. I don't usually like green beans that much, honestly, unless <laughs> they're like canned, which is really weird because normally canned veggies are gross, yeah. but with green beans, it's like the only way I like it. So let's see if I like it this way. I mean, one would say that this is the healthiest okay. type of meat dishes, Filipino dishes that really? you can have. Well, let's look at the greens. Well, that's true. <laughs> look at how many vegetables they put it's in here. Okay. Eggplant. Um, in America, so we're not so great about eating a lot of vegetables. I mean, some people really are, but I feel like if you go to restaurants and like you order meat dishes, there's not usually a whole lot of veggies. Yeah. Would you say so, Mark? <laughs> yeah. I feel like when you go to like get Asian food, they're a lot better about get serving you vegetables. <laughs> Um, so what was I going to say though? Oh yeah, I was going to tell you what I thought of the green beans. Okay, these green beans are actually pretty good. I would eat them. Maybe because of the sauce, the curry, Probably. The curry, curry. It adds up to the flavor. I mean, if you eat yeah. it just on its own, it's not going to yeah. be good. It's going to be bitter, just like how all the healthy food are. <laughs> That's true, but I, I really don't like green beans normally, and these I'll eat. I'm not going to like not eat them and put them on the side. These aren't bad. I do like the leafy green. What is this? Is this bok choy? Mm, uh, looks like a chom soy. Oh, chom soy. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, but these I think taste better than the green beans. Yeah. But probably the best fresh green beans I've ever had. But again, as Mark said, it's probably the sauce. Choisum or chom soy or choisum. Isn't that the same as bok choy? Um, maybe. Um. <sighs> okay. Well, yeah. maybe it is the same. Maybe it's not. But. These taste good with the dish. Mm. Okay, guys. So I've tried everything. All three out of three dishes I thought were very good. Really did. Mess it up. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. try, to, try to sprinkle in a little Tagalog that I know here and there. But yeah, so far everything. Three out of three. It's all good. So thank you to the Lodi Fam members who told us to come here and told us to try it out because this will probably be one of our new favorites it's kind of far from where we live but you know we'll gotta come every now and then because yeah. there might there, be a part two to this because yeah because their menu is so big and there were so many things it was like hard for us to choose so and, it, and they are all good so yeah far. there's so many different things that we wanted to try they've got caldereta which is one of my favorites and milaga which is delicious and uh, anyway <laughs> so <laughs> um yeah we're just gonna leave this video here guys thank you so much for watching if you want to see a part two let us know well there will definitely be a oh part okay two. well then <laughs> just kidding there's definitely gonna be a part two so stay tuned for whenever that happens we don't know when it's gonna happen but yeah. it will okay we'll see you next time guys thanks for watching bye